Hello, welcome. My name's Angela. I'm coming to you from South Wales in the UK and thank you for popping by to watch my video today. Um, I tend to post videos to my channel all about knitting, crochet, spinning and my adventures of being a new yarn store owner. Today is Saturday the 1st of July and I'm coming to you from my yarn shop uh, which is called Yarn and Yarns and we're based in Penarth just outside of Cardiff. So it's been a little while since I have um, been able to pop by and record a video. Um, no reason other than I just haven't found the time. Um, it's been one of those um, sort of fortnights where it feels like it's not so busy but when you look back it really has been a bit of a whirlwind so um, yeah time's just uh, gotten away from me. But yeah, I'm back today and um, this will probably be quite a quick segment um, of me recording. Um, it's Saturday morning and it won't be long before the Saturday morning group arrives. So I don't have lots of time and I'm taking this afternoon off from the shop. Um, so I won't have time to, to pop back later. But I wanted to just do a little quick recording um, to tell you and to show you all about uh, some of the fun antics that we've uh, had in the shop this week. Um, I've been hosting a charity make along this week. It started on Monday um, and we have been supporting the charity Octopus for a preemie. Um, I think I explained a little bit about the charity uh, in my last video but um, yeah it's gone really really well. Um, basically the charity provides tiny little um, octopals. There's octopus, there's jellyfish um, and there's uh, a little creature that they call Howard the Alien um, which um, knitters and crocheters all over the country and all around the world make and they go into incubators with their premature babies and the tentacles apparently provide the babies with uh, lots of comfort and help them on their hopefully journey to recovery um, and yeah it's proven to to help a lot. Um, I, I believe the charity started in Denmark um, but it's really taken off over here in the last few months um, and the local coordinator for the charity contacted me a few weeks ago um, asked if I'd be willing to put up a poster in the shop um, but I decided to we could do a little bit better than that so we have been fundraising in the shop and we have been making in the shop this week um, and I am so so very um, thrilled with uh, the response that I've had from um, my customers um, both regular and the ones that um, pop in and, and new people that I haven't seen before who've been um, kindly donating to the collection box that we've had in store. Um, but yeah, I'd like to um, just grab the basket of octopus and give you a quick flash of uh, everything that, sorry, big face, <laughs> as I lean closer to the camera to grab the basket. I should have been a bit more prepared and had it right on hand. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> this is the basket of octopals. Whoops that uh, all of my lovely customers have made this week. I mean, isn't that amazing? I think there's well over 20. Um, I'll probably do a, a quick count up and, uh, but I, there's more coming in as well. Um, this won't be the end of it. I know um, lots of ladies have started making in the groups that we've had this week and have promised me that they will bring back their completed creations next week. Um, so yeah, there's lots of really fun patterns. Um, if you're interested, you can go to octopusforpremies.com, I believe, and all of the patterns that they have are available for you to download and print from the website um, if you want to, to get involved. Um, I'm not going to lie, some bits of them are quite fiddly and they do ask that the octopus and jellyfish be made at a really tight tension so that little fingers can't um, poke through. Um, obviously the health and safety of the little ones is paramount. Um, so some of these octopals that we've made this week pro probably won't um, make the grade in terms of going into an incubator um, but none of them are wasted any that aren't quite um, suitable for, for um, going into the incubators are given to um, angel babies so um, sadly the babies that um, don't make it through their journey into life um, but uh, they will go to, to parents and families, um, either for a memory box or something like that. So hopefully um, they will still bring comfort 
um, at an upsetting time to, to any of those parents. But um, yeah, they get delivered to hospitals all around the country. Um, I believe not every hospital is on board, um, but I think that um, local coordinators for the charity are working really hard um, to raise the awareness and to um, spread the ideas and the benefits uh, of these little creatures. Um, <clears throat> there's knitted patterns and crochet patterns and I think we've got a good um, few examples of each so I can give you a quick flash. I won't spend ages and ages, I won't show you everyone, um, but uh, yeah I'll give you a little sample. So um, we've got a couple of knitted octopus. Uh, I believe the majority of the ones that we've received have been crocheted um, and that's understandable. I found the crocheted ones slightly simpler, um, although I did have a go at both. Um, so this first one is a garter stitch um, octopus and it's knitted on the side, like from side to side. Um, so you do sort of short rows and knit on the tentacles, uh, but that was quite a fun one to make. Um, and I made that one in um, Debbie Bliss Eco Baby prints. Um, it's got lots of fun colours. Uh, a lot of people have commented to say that um, the colours in this one remind them of like um, a heathered moor in the autumn or something like that. So uh, yeah, that was quite a fun one. And then the other knitted version um, is a stockingette stitch um, version and he looks like that. Um, you don't have to add faces to the octopus. The um, faces are quite fun, um, but I didn't add any to the um, knitted versions. Um, and then for the crochet versions, there are two different types of um, stuffed octopals. So the first type is an actual octopus, um, which looks like that. Um, so yeah, as you can see, they look quite cute with the, the faces on. Um, so that's just a sort of body and then the, the tentacles. And then the second version um, is a jellyfish. And the jellyfish has a little sort of curled ruffle. Um, and some of the ones that um, we've had in the shop have um, been made using a couple of different colors. So adding the frill um, around the bottom and some of the tentacles in different colors sort of uh, makes a, a fun addition. Um, so yeah, there's those ones. And then also the uh, there is a crocheted flat version. Um, I believe there's a knitted flat version as well, but um, I don't think anyone so far has uh, made one of those ones. Um, but the crocheted flat version looks like this. Um, again, they don't have to have faces on. Um, and there's um, size guidelines on the um, pattern. Um, I believe that the um, they have to be like the sort of main body or the face has to be between five and eight centimeters and then the tentacles it's something like up to 22 centimeters when you pull them out stretched um, but all the guidelines are on the um, website don't go by um, my memory there of those because uh, I might be recalling those wrong but yeah we've had lots and lots and lots of octopals made. Um, some of them have faces, some of them have been left faceless, but it has been such a fun, fun activity. Um, and I, I just, yeah, I'm so, so very grateful for the wonderful customers that I have here who've all got on board. Um, particularly as this, as I say, it's not the easiest. Some bits are quite fiddly and getting the tension really tight um, is quite tricky as well. Um, it's a little bit hard on the hands. They all have to be made out of cotton. Um, but I think um, everyone's had um, some sort of uh, enjoyment out of it. And um, I think there's been quite a bit of camaraderie out of the um, sort of fiddly bits and the annoying bits as well. Everyone's been kind of sympathising with each other as they've been struggling to make tentacles and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I think it's been a really, really fun activity. Um, and as I say, I couldn't be more thrilled with the, the response that I've had. So I don't <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be possible. This is a crazy idea. Look, these are all the stuffed ones that I've had. Whoops throw one away so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's eleven stuffed ones and then I don't think there's going to be an easy way to show you all of the flatties and I don't think I can even hold them all making a really awkward job of that um so one 
Oops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen flat octopus as well. So, and as I say, more to come in. So I, I couldn't really be any more pleased with uh, how that has gone. Um, so yeah, um, I'm thinking maybe we'll make um, charity making a reasonably regular event in the shop um, a few times a year, perhaps pick a charity to support. Um, I think everyone has enjoyed making with a purpose and um, also, as I say, making the same sort of thing. Um, I think the groups have uh, enjoyed that. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll have a bit more of a think on that. Um, but if anyone knows of any charities that are um, after knitted items or um except knitted or crocheted items um then please let me know in the comments below so yeah i think um i might just keep it at that and upload a really short video um specifically about um that event and um yeah come back to you hopefully in a few days with another video which will be focused on um my current works in progress and uh yeah the things that i've been making yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, so I shall sign off for now, um, say goodbye to you all and uh, thanks for watching.